Lisa. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Absolutely. I mean, this is such a human story. This is something that I feel like can be applied to anyone. And as you said in the film, it's likely that you know somebody who's going through this process and it's likely that they didn't tell you. So this is something that I think is going to be relevant for generations and generations, not only mine. Connectedness, because it is a story that lives not only in your life and in my life, but in lives around the world. And I think, honestly, you are, you are almost like creating this beautiful necklace, because I think with each viewing, people are going to take a new level of just remarkable, it's a gem. Especially right now when no one's connecting, if you can't connect to this, I don't know what you cannot connect to. This is a really important film, and I really appreciate it, and I would recommend it to anybody. This has to be showed in the high schools for the young girls not to take for granted their gift of pregnancy and potential become a mother, because you know, being young, you don't really even think of it. I felt enraged and I also felt deep, deep empathy and compassion and heartbreak, the devastation. I mean, and then you are there watching that as a filmmaker in the same room and I can't fathom that. I can't fathom that you were sitting still. And also identifying with that not letting go, that would have been me. I didn't have your experience, but that would have been me. I would, I would have had, it's that wanting to know, right? You bring up as well, like there's a predatory aspect of the commercial side of the infertility industry. It's an unregulated industry. Uh, and people not only drain themselves emotionally, but financially, or at least not be totally realistic with their patients. And uh, I think it's good for people to see as well.